There's a fish. What is this gonna be? What is this? What's poppin' Team Dank? As you can see behind me, I've got my kayak right there. I've got an ultralight right here. So today is a good old fashioned day of ultralight fishing for whatever bites. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, the weather is literally perfect right now. It's 60 degrees out and less than 10 mile an hour wind. Today is going to be a good day. Even if I don't catch very many fish, it's beautiful out. I can't complain, but I'm pretty darn confident we're gonna catch some fish. I haven't been to this lake in a long time, but when I do come out here, I tend to catch some fish, so I trust the process. Anyways, I don't wanna spend too much time rambling on banks, so what I'd rather do is hop in Jolene right here, hit the water, and. Start start catching some fish. Let's get started. I just talked to a guy in a bass boat. He told me the water temp is like 53 right here. So it's still cold. Man, this water is super clear. Right now I'm gonna start with a 130 second sounds mule jig chartreuse with a green pumpkin donkey tail junior. I've got two other ultralights with me. One of them's a BFS rod. And then I've got, actually I've got one traditional bass rod with me. I don't plan on using it much, but I have a drop shot rigged up on there and I might throw it around a little bit. Oh, something's biting it. What is that? Doesn't look very big. I can't tell if it's a big sunfish or if it's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, there we go. I cast it right in front of him. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There he is. What is this? Is this a pretty big bluegill is what this is. Oh, wow. Nice bluegill. I've got some small bass down there, but I've also got a nice bluegill like that. Look at that. That's a real healthy one right there. And he just chomped that. Oh yeah, I'm seeing some fish now. I might be getting too close. There he is. I think that's a small bass. Yep. There we go. We're on the board. Two fish in a row. Oh man, this wind is just blowing me right over the top of them. There's one. There we go. It's another gill, I believe. Oh, that actually helped me identify this fish. Is that a pumpkin seed? It's got the red ear right here, but look at that body shape. Some of these sunfish all look so similar. I'm gonna take a quick picture of that. Anyways, see you buddy, you're a beautiful fish. Three fish, three species, I'm digging it. There's one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What is this, little bass? God, he's got some fight in him. He has got some fight in him, my goodness. He freaking wanted to just take me straight under that dock. That was awesome. For such a little guy, man, he has the serious fight. My jig was sinking and then it just stopped sinking and I knew that it wasn't at the bottom yet. So I just popped him. Little chunk, man, he's got some serious fight, dude. There's a fish. Oh boy, he's running right at me. I'm thinking it's a little bass, yes sir. Today is gonna be a day of the dinks, but I tell you what, I wouldn't expect to catch giants on this little gear, and I will take fish like that all day. I love it. Yeah, that wind is just straight up rocking me now. It's just blowing me right down this bank. It was seven mile an hour wind, and now I guarantee it's more than that. I don't know what it is. It's not bad, but it's way more than what it was just a few minutes back. Gotta imagine something's up here sunning itself. And the water temp is still low. Like I said, it's like low 50s right now. So there's one. What is this? What is this? Is that yellow perch? Yes, sir. We're just popping multi-species today, baby. Four species? I'll take that. See ya, bud. How many more species can we get today? All right, I'm positioned properly now. I just gotta keep my uh, nose straight with the wind. If I keep my kayak nose straight in line with the wind, then I will have my line positioned properly to where it's not getting a bow in the side of it. And then I'll be able to detect bites a lot easier. There's a fish. I detected that bite a lot easier because again, I had my line parallel with the wind and it paid off for an absolute g -g -g giant bass. Okay. Oh, I just spooked something. What is it? That's a rock bass. I gotta catch that fish. I'm gonna stand up. I don't even care. I just see it. I see a few rock bass cruising. Oh man, I spooked them. No. Okay, good. There are rock bass here. We're gonna catch a rock bass today, I believe. No, no, something just bit it. Something just bit it. Dag gummit. Okay. I gotta catch a Rocco. I wanna catch five species. <gasps> no! Something keeps short striking this. It's gotta be small bluegill. Come get it, 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 come get it. There he is. That's a largemouth. Dag gummit. I wanted a rock bass. But this is a very beautiful uh, largemouth, I gotta be honest with you. Look at that lateral line. Like, oh my gosh. It's like somebody took a Sharpie and just went Brrr. All right, buddy, you're beautiful and I love you. Thank you for the fight. I appreciate it. Holy crap, there's a freaking muskie right there. No way. I wanna look at him. He's so big. Oh my lord. Eat it. 
Holy cow. That's insane. He's this freaking long. I should really fish for him one of these days. I just haven't done it. It's kind of intimidating to fish for him in a kayak solo. I want to make sure if I do catch one, I take really good care of it. And I would be a little nervous that if I was to hook into one, it would just be really hard to one, land it. And two, once I do actually land it, just properly care for it and release it. These are big fish, man. These muskies are really, really big. That was cool. Nice to see that muskie, but it's time to catch some more fish. Oh, there's a fish. I started swimming it back. This guy just pops it. Another little largemouth. Again, very beautiful uh, lateral line on this guy. These little uh, tiny largemouth, man, they love these little donkey tail juniors. It's like the perfect size for a fish like this. A lot of the forage that fish this size eat are kind of that one to two inch range, you know, minnows and whatnot. Something's chasing it. There he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> just another little dink. <laughs> There's a bunch of these little guys. They just group up so much in these shallows. It can be a lot of fun just picking them off left and right. If I was just to hook one of those bass in front of that muskie, I bet he would have came and just chomped it. It would have been wild. There's one. What's this? Oh, it's my Rocco. It's my Rocco. Yes. 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 No, it's a largemouth. it! I swore it was a Rocco. I am the largemouth king of dinks, man. This is actually one of my better ones today. Yeah. That's saying something. When this is one of your better fish for the day, <laughs> you know, you're an all-star. Anyways, I'm popping them now, man. I'm popping them now. I thought it was a Rocco. I was so excited. If I just find somewhere where I get a little bit less blown around, I feel like I'm going to catch more fish. And not because I'm not around fish, because I'm definitely around fish. The problem is it's so hard to detect these bites unless you are perfectly positioned. Like I just definitely had a bite, but I didn't get a hook in him because I was too late. Oh, he's right there. There they are. Oh my gosh, there's a crew, a bunch of cruising little dinks. Oh, he bit it. Daggummit, eat it. Oh, there he is. Whoa, largemouth is jumping. Oh, he, he shook it. That fish was so small, but he knows how to shake a hook. My goodness. I'm just getting pounded by the wind right here, but there's a bunch of little dinks and I'm digging it. Oh, they're just, cru they're chasing. Oh my gosh, they're just pounding these minnows. That's so epic. There's a huge school of like minnows and bait fish. And these little tiny bass are just corralling them. This is so cool. There he is. <laughs> Ooh. Now that, my friends, is a beautiful fish. Maybe they are pumpkin seed and they just look a little different, but they are beautiful fish. No. Ah, come on. There, I got him. That is why I'm missing these fish. Look at him. Look at him. He's so small. They keep like tail swiping the thing because they're dinky, 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 but I got him to bite and I got him to eat it. I am gonna name this fish Geraldo. See a Geraldo? I mean, I could keep catching absolute micros over there, but I think what I'm gonna do is keep moving and grooving because those are not that big of fish and they're corralling bait fish and literally like every cast I'm getting munched. The problem is they're so dang small. They can hardly even get their mouth around the dang thing, so I miss half the bites. Okay, quick update to tell you what, I just crossed the lake because, man, it was awful windy over there, so I'm moving over to a location that hopefully will be slightly more protected from the wind. It's still windy here. It's kind of impossible to escape the wind. That being said, I figure if I avoid the wind just a little bit, it's gonna allow me to focus more on fishing, line control, boat control, that sort of thing, and I think I'll probably actually catch more fish. Regardless, I am having fun with the Donkey Tail Jr., and I'm going to continue to throw it throughout the rest of the day. That being said, I am gonna switch to the BFS Ultralight Rod for a few minutes, and throw a jerk bait around just to see. Not sure if it'll get bit. If it doesn't get bit, that's okay, but I want to try it. I gotta at least try it. Shout out to my buddy Randy who gave me this Yozuri pins minnow. This thing's dope. Let's see if it gets clobbered. Okay, there's one. He's approaching it. He's thinking about it. Oh, he turned away. Oh, come eat it. There he's got. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. He smashed it. Oh, bluegill, bluegill, bluegill. Wait, largemouth ate it. A bluegill bit at it, and then a largemouth came and bit it right after him. The bluegill definitely made this bass eat. He probably wouldn't have eaten had that bluegill not hit it first. All right. Oh, let's just be careful. I don't particularly want a little tiny treble hook in my thumb, but look how he ate that thing. Just chomped it. I just realized I totally forgot my pliers. Good news is those are little tiny trebles, so I shouldn't have too many issues with them. Oh, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> This is fun. Look at this rod, man. So much fun. He just doesn't want to give up. Oh my gosh. God, that's fun. I love these BFS rods, man. They're just such a blast. Well, we put two ultralights to use. This little Yozuri pins minnow that my buddy Randy sent me 
is uh, it's working. It's kind of fun too, because it's like totally a visual game. I'm up close and personal with these bass and I just watch them come up and slap it. It's really fun. Okay, I gotta throw my donkey tail. I forgot I have a, a 180th ounce jig rigged up. Let's see if this one works as good as the 132nd. Oh, does he have it? No, he's just falling. Oh, there he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that has such a slow rate of fall. I just pop it up and it just kind of just floats right there in the water. And this guy just comes up and just smokes it. Just such a dink. Oh man, I love it though. I love it. There he is. He nipped at it a couple times first. Golly, he's got some fight in him. These bluegill are all really pale. It's kind of strange. Nice fish though. Nice size to him. This wind is just pelting this spot now. So I feel like I want to change locations again. There he's got it. Yes, sir. Oh, what was that? No, I think that was a crappie. Daggummit, daggummit. That would have been my fifth species. Oh, these fish, whatever is down there is short striking this. There he is. Oh, it's a yellow perch. That was the little culprit. Well, we got another yellow perch for the day, but by golly, was he short striking this thing. I assume that's what that fish was that kept short striking it. Oh, he's got the tail. He don't want to give it up. Give it back. There you go. All right, just a little tiny perch, a little hot dog. Oh, oh, you little stink. These fish are just pounding this thing over and over and over again, but they're just pulling on the tail. It's only a matter of time till they finally do rip the tail off, but they haven't done it yet, so I'm feeling good. I saw that bite in my line. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Ooh, ooh, baby. Look at that bluegill. My gosh, me likey this bluegill. Holy cannoli, I gotta get a pick, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Buddy, you are going on Instagram. You are a model and you don't even know it. Yeah, buddy. All right, well, I am just having a good time out here, catching numerous species. I'm really hoping that we can catch five species today. I think it's very possible. I think it's only a matter of time. Oh, one had it, it was so small. I have no idea what it was. It just had the tail. There he finally did it. After tons of fish that kept short striking this thing, they finally done it. They ripped off my boot tail. So I'm not gonna tell you it doesn't happen, but it has withstood a lot of bites. I'm just gonna keep fishing it without a boot tail because quite frankly, it's still the shape of a minnow and it'll still catch fish. It was designed to be able to be fished without the boot tail as well. And it's still gonna look like a little minnow just drifting around down there. And I guarantee you, I'm still gonna catch fish. I really don't think it's a big deal. I, I, I honestly think as long as I'm, there's one. Oh my gosh, what is this? Another largemouth. As long as I'm kind of twitching this thing around, it's still gonna look like a little minnow down there. You know, the times where I would really, really want that boot tail is when, you know, you wanna kick up some vibration, you know, in the wind and in uh, a little bit dingier water, low light conditions. But right here, it's very clear water still. And yeah, there's wind, but I'm in an area that's not super windy. I mean, think about a net rig. It doesn't have any kind of tail down there. You don't always need a tail. I like the tail, but these fish don't seem to care too much. So not worried about it. All right, all right, chill, chill, chill. See ya, you're going home. I needed this. I forgot how much fun good old fashioned ultralight beatdown is. My goodness, nice bluegill. Look at that. I know today is an ultralight fishing day, but I do want to try my drop shot. I rigged up a donkey tail full size Dakota Sunrise on a drop shot, and I want to try dragging it around out here on this weed line. I haven't really fished with the donkey tail on a drop shot yet, but I know it's going to be one of the ways I like to fish it, especially during the summer. Yay, the drop shot works. Doesn't feel very big, but he smoked it, so that's good. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to experiment with this more in the future. Today, I'm not going to get sidetracked by it too much, but I wanted to try it. I popped him right in the nose. All right. Little dink, but I just wanted to prove that this thing works. And now I've caught a fish on every single one of the rods I brought, so that's cool. This Cast King Zephyr cast this little 1 16th ounce jerkbait so good. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. There's a fish. All right. All right, probably a little bass, but by golly, they're fun on this, man. They're a lot of fun on this. Watch out for trebles. We're just out here dinking around. You know me. All right, buddy. And this little five foot ultralight rod is such a blast, dude. I like this little jerk bait. This thing's sweet. It's so little, 1 16th of an ounce, wonderful. It's just wonderful. It dives really shallow, which is ideal. Oh my gosh, just torched it. <laughs> Golly, I'm just pelting these little guys. This is awesome. This is awesome, man. Ah! Oh my gosh, that could have got ugly, but it didn't, we're good. <laughs> these little fellas, man, they like this thing. Come on, come on. Oh, 
There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Man, these little tiny largemouth love this little dinky jerkbait. I'm telling you though, I've been seeing these little largemouth chasing tiny minnows around. Like they're corralling them, just like a normal big bass would do. But it's just smaller bait fish, and they're just smaller bass. And uh, that's why you just use smaller equipment and you make it super fun. Is there one? Is there one on there? Oh my gosh, he's so small, he's so small. They're loving it, the dinks are loving it. Look at that little guy. Okay, we gotta be careful, careful, easy, easy. Look at that little fella. All right, see you buddy. We have just pelted fish today. I mean, the numbers are through the roof. Definitely nothing big besides some of the bluegill have been pretty respectable, but the largemouth are hilarious. Oh man, that's a backlash. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, that's a horrendous backlash. I overdid that cast. Oh no. The BFS reel is out of commission for the day because Doofus Ethan backlashed the absolute crap out of it. So, sorry Cast King, I'm gonna have to replace that line. Oh, there's one. Oh man, it's gotta be a gill, the way it's fighting. Golly, he's dogging me right now. My goodness, another nice gill. Catching some decent bluegill today. There we go, there we go. That hook just popped right through his mouth. I had him I had him by a dang thread, man, on the outside of his mouth, but I got him, and that's all that matters. Oh, there he is. Oh. What do we got here? Another nice bluegill. He's fatter than all get out, my goodness. Just a little chunk, aren't you? Open up that mouth. I wanna show the chunky belly. Ow, okay, you know what? You can go home. You wanna play these? Are you kidding me? Okay. Now you're under my seat. Chill, I'm gonna put you back. I was just trying to show your fat belly, but then you just had to throw a fit. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, nice yellow perch. Oh, he just, oh man, he just did his thing on my boat. Daggummit, it's a male. Just an FYI, oh man, he's still going. Gosh dang it. Why, stop it, stop it, not on Jolene. Well, Jolene has been contaminated by that male yellow perch. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Man, I've got a lot of small largemouth. You know, the total weight would be about two pounds, and you know, the total fish count would be about 20. I never said I was going for big ones today, people. Okay, remember that. Let's just wash. Just gonna try to give Jolene a little quick wash here. What we got here, what we got here, what we got here. Not a bad little bass. One of our better ones. Oh, for sure, oh, for sure. Hip no! That gummit. <laughs> oh, I was all getting all excited. I'm like, yeah, nice one. I mean, it was a whopping 12 inches, but that gummity popped off right by the kayak. I'm definitely thinking I'm about ready to head home, but a couple more casts. It would be great to catch a fifth species. I was really thinking that we would catch a rock bass or maybe a crappie today. There's a fish. What's this gonna be? What's this? Large mouth. Oh wait, rock bass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I was just talking about it, and literally here he is. I cannot believe that happened. I was kind of to the point where I gave up, but I tell you what, five species, all on this little bait right here. That's what's up. All right, see you buddy. Okay, I just got off the water, and as you can see, Jolene is rigged up on the roof, and it is time to go home, but I gotta be honest with you folks, I caught five species on that Donkey Tail Junior. I caught a ton of fish today. Even though I wasn't pounding giant fish, I did catch some nice bluegill. It was just such a great time, man. Ultralight fishing for whatever bites is one of my favorite things to do. You know, limited time to fish every week, and when I do, I just wanna catch fish. And trips like this, man, they are just the best. They make me wanna keep on coming back every single day. It is a blast. Stay tuned for more ultralight content. I tell you what, I'm going home, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm ready to go relax. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.